Greetings, greetings. Welcome to Pondrick Farm. Thank you for following up and tuning in on our tomato on our tomato series. Today we are strictly looking at uh, we're strictly focusing on uh, tomato diseases. Tomato diseases. We're talking, focusing on 20 tomato diseases that affect the the tomato so these diseases that affect the tomato are usually too many diseases but we are going only to cover 20 diseases this this crop is heavily affected by a lot of diseases so we need to 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 guard against all those diseases as we are planting our tomatoes all right the diseases that are uh, affect our tomato production the first disease that i want to talk about uh, is early blight early blight uh, affects our tomato production uh, our how do we see the early blight the symptoms for early blight symptoms for early blight is dark spots with rings on lower leaves you realize that there'll be dark spots rings on lower leaves so what can we do to 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 to, to fight this uh, disease we, we do pruning to avoid leaves touching the ground and then we do spray fungicides another disease is uh is a uh, powder mildew the light green or yellow spots on leaves uh, sometimes they, they they turn dusty white those leaves sometimes turn dusty white so due to that we need to to plant a resistant we need to plant a, a resistant tomato variety but above all really all tomato varieties will uh, will suffer under this uh will suffer under this uh disease so what we need to do is we need uh, sulfur dust or fungicides uh in order to reduce this uh this disease we need to control it will always be there, but we need to control it. And then another thing that we need, and, and another disease that we need to, to guard against, I will, I will put some of the diseases is under the description of this video. But generally, here I will cover the, 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 the harsh diseases only, about four, five, six, uh, due to the rains here, it's raining, but I'm recording. We need to record here at the farm. Why? We need practical... Uh, we need practical application of what we are talking about. Want to talk about it while we look at it. Another one is uh, we can say e bacteria wilt. Bacteria wilt. How do we see bacteria wilt? Bacteria wilt. We can see bacteria wilt is its symptom through wilting yellow leaves. If you see wilting yellow leaves wilting yellow leaves the challenge is uh, most of my 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 tomato crops here are very healthy so showing you examples of this disease is a bit of a challenge so we have fought against this disease and made sure that they are not there so it would be a challenge for me to show you that disease in such a green uh, uh, crop this is outfield you can see this is not a greenhouse it's outfield you can see it it's not a greenhouse open field all right uh how do we fight wilt bacteria wilt we fight bacteria wilt by uh, we remove the infected uh we remove the infected uh our camera is giving us a problem we remove uh, the infected plants and rotate our crops uh, effective crop rotation don't plant the same crop same area a uh, consecutive no we need to change if you plant tomatoes here next season uh, next four or five months you plant uh, you plant something else if you plant uh onion you change to tomatoes etc uh, etc et another important disease that are uh, very very violent to tomatoes is uh late blight is late blight late blight uh, is a bit of a challenge as well it shows some greasy brown uh, leaves as well. 
it can this one can easily be uh, controlled by spraying the just by spraying the the copper copper spray copper oxchloride there is a video here in this channel uh Bonridge farm about copper oxchloride's importance and why we're spraying it you can check there and also uh see how you can uh, apply it on your own field and then the, we get with there is another disease the, the, this this disease you realize that this disease is it's not more like a disease i refuse to say it's a disease personally i think it's a it's more like a condition i think i spoke about it in one of my videos it's more like a condition this is called blossom android blossom android what is blossom blossom android how do you see blossom android there'll be black brown spots at the blossom end of the fruit the tomato fruit this tomato fruit this tomato fruit at its tip here it will be black that's what we mean so that would be blossom android you can't sell that the quality decreases because of that uh, condition uh so how, how do we do that uh, how do we stop blossom android we do it deep watering is uh, i spoke in another video that it can be caused by broken roots or lack of uh adequate routine of watering and then another thing that we can do is to spray calcium nitrate we, we spray calcium nitrate and then another disease this one like we can it's not a disease it's also a condition it's called by the sun pen you can say sun pen you see your fruit will be turning white there'll be white patches of pens from the sun so we need to water our plants and when we are spraying we don't spray during the day when it's hot uh, if it's watered enough and we spray uh, when it's uh, not too hot your fruits will be safe from all that uh, but other diseases i'll post them just below my uh, below the um, below the what you call this below there in the description of the video and me, can we please share all the disease disease plant the tomato diseases that usually trap with the tomatoes during the season um as i conclude i'll conclude with the with the the the, 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 the devil disease of the mall the baddest disease of the mall this disease is very cruel because it attacks the seedlings at the seed bed. It's called dumping off. Dumping off is a disease whereby the, the, the seedlings just go weaker and they break. You know, they, they, they can't go straight, that they just break in the middle. Uh, as they are growing, they just break the stem, just that young stem just breaks. So, because of that, you have lost a seedling. Because of that, we have lost the seedling. So even if you take that seedling to the field, that seedling will still die. You see that? That seedling will still die. So generally, what I can say is, uh, let's check these diseases and fight against these diseases to avoid uh, making losses. They basically, when we come to tomato farming, what we are looking for, we are looking for profits and also for the pleasure of seeing this green the pleasure of growing crops the pleasure of feeding the masses all that is enjoyable but the profits are more enjoyable so we invite people to come to this venture even if it's a high risk business we need to come here get some information go to our channels get some information and come to this venture and uh, make money start small and grow so generally this is what you can say please let's share how we can fight these diseases and what you have seen and what you have gone through what you have heard let's share in the comment section let's like the video and subscribe thank you very much watch out for the next videos